is up, Buttercup Sis, it's Creepy, and today we are going to be doing another Reading Your Comments. Now, on my last Reading Your Comments, you guys went crazy and asked a ton of questions, which is really awesome, but unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to answer all of them, but I'm going to answer as many as I can. But also remember to comment below more questions and more things for me to do for next week's Reading Your Comments. And remember, keep it creative. Let this episode give you inspiration. Now let's get started. Hofernis asks, what is my favorite game? And Marcus Jensen asks, what is my favorite single player game and my favorite game in general? It depends on the thing, okay? So if I just want to sit down by myself and have a ton of fun and I got a lot of time, I'll go ahead and open Skyrim or I'll open Fallout. If it's something that I want to play casually while I'm waiting for a video to render, I used to play Bejeweled Blitz, Solitaire Blitz, and now I play agar.io, which is a lot of fun. A-G-A-R.io. Don't go to A-G-O-R.io. You've been warned. Really, seriously, don't do it. Please. And then if I would just want to like sit down and play a game with my friends that's fun, I like to play Grand Theft Auto. And they should be getting Gary's Mod soon, so we might have a Gary's Mod series coming, which I'm really excited for because that's always been a game that I wanted to play. But you can't really do it very well without friends. But yeah, that's essentially my favorite games and stuff. Siren Rin asks, what are some of your best pickup lines? Well, I'm glad you asked because I am quite the ladies man. <laughs> How much will a 20 get me? What? Wow, you're almost as beautiful as my sister. But you know, that's illegal. Are you serious? Hey, nice apples! What the hell, man? On a scale of 1 to 10, you're a 7.3141592653589793238. The fuck's that supposed to mean? I promise I won't videotape you in your sleep and sell it on the internet more than once. You better not. Hey, does this rack smell like chloroform to you? <laughs> How rude! Oh, I just wanted to know! And as you can see, I've got quite the abilities. Now Ghost says, Have you ever played the Metal Gear game? That's a good question, Ghost. I've actually never played any of the Metal Gear games. I've heard a lot about them, and it looks like a really fun and cool idea, but I just never got to play them because they were for old consoles, and I didn't get into gaming very much for a long, long time. Um, so I, I never really played the Metal Gear games, unfortunately. Heather Lewis asks, What is my worst fear? Um, I, I don't know if there's really such thing as worst fear, in all honesty, but like, if somebody's worst fear is spiders, what if there's tons of spiders climbing all over you? Well then, that's your new fear. What if a lion is also attacking you? Oh, then it's even worse, but then there's a dragon in the distance spitting fire in your direction, and you're hovering off a cliff and you're standing on your toe on the peak of a precipice about to fall off, and there's your worst fear, and then all of a sudden you see a giant jet coming in about to drop a nuclear... I think you get where I'm going. But as far as that goes, as far as basic worst fears, I think my worst fear would probably be heights. I've been on like one or two roller coasters before, but I absolutely hate roller coasters. I've never gone on one that was really big or insane. I can't even do the Ferris wheel, which is insanely slow, because you get up there and you look down and you're just like, what if this bolt just snaps right in half and we just go falling through the sky? That'd be terrible. I just, I, I hate heights, essentially. And now it's time for the speed round! What's your favorite color? Orange! What is your favorite animal? Uh, either the lyre bird or the colobus monkey. They just look like hippies. <laughs> What's your favorite eye color? Uh, red. What's your favorite hair color? Uh, I don't, I don't have a favorite. What's your favorite sport? Uh, Call of Duty. What color eyes do you have? Uh, brown. What's your favorite band? I uh, don't have a favorite. What kind of music? Pierce the Veil or Sleeping with Sirens. That goes in. That goes in hand. Pierce the Veil or Sleeping with Sirens. <laughs> what kind of music do you listen to? All kinds of music, mostly. Do you play any instruments? Yes, I play the guitar, and I'm trying to learn the piano here. But yeah, I'm, I haven't learned in a long time. Try to draw the cutest animal you can in 60 seconds. Do you have a timer or a pen? Start the timer, Jonathan. And go. How long do I have? 10 seconds. Uh, 10 seconds! No! Oh no! 3, 2, 1, stop!
Stop! Okay, I drew it. You guys ready to see this? Boom. Boom. Check it out. Huh? 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 Uh, continue with the lightning round. Let's go. Have you won any contests recently? Uh, recently? No. Do you sing? Yes. Do you like to read? Uh, I do, but I haven't in a long time. What's your favorite comic book hero? Uh, Deadpool. What are your favorite types of video games? Uh, RPG open world. What's your favorite theme park? Uh, Lagoon, because I live close-ish to it-ish. What's your favorite show? It's the show? only one I've went to as well. What was that? What's your favorite show? Uh, I have multiple. I like like White Collar and Psych and Burn Notice, and I'm watching How to Met Your Mother, How to, How I Met Your Mother. That one, yeah, I'm watching that one now. And uh, yeah, those are good shows. What color is your hair? Brown. Can you do a cartwheel? No. Play the seven second challenge with somebody. What the hell is the seven second challenge? I have no idea. Google it. Google it. What's the most that you can do in seven seconds or less? I can sit here in silence looking up what the seven second challenge is. <gasps> Yay! Now what's the next question? That's it, that's the end of that one. Oh, woo! Second round! You're creepy, are you a sandwich? N no Yes? Yes, no. If yes, come to my place for dinner. Don't eat me. If no, what planet are you from? Uh, Uranus. Haha, <laughs> that's the first one that came to mind, I'm sorry. Right, Dr. Gaming, you and the creepy need to do a duet and a dance off. Oh boy. Sierra asks, why did you name your channel Decree B? Well, that one has an interesting story. So basically, when I was younger, when I was learning to play guitar, I wanted to start my own band and kind of get into that scene. I loved music so much, and it was one of my favorite things ever. And so, one day I was just trying to think of a cool band name, and I'm terrible at thinking of names, but I remembered that one of my uncles had been in a band when he was a kid. So I asked my mom what he called his band, and she said that he named it Decree. And I got stuck on that name and I loved it to that. And then one day I was going and I was making a Pogo account, which is a free online game stuff. It's got free games and stuff. And I tried to use the username Decree, but it was already taken. So my solution was add B at the end of Decree and the B stood for band because I wanted it to be a band. But eventually the idea for forming a band wore off, but Decree B stuck with me and it's still stuck with me today and I'm just really attached to the name and I, I, I love it to death. So there's that, that's why I call it Decree B. Rihanna Shawkinsey asks, where did I get the idea for Buttercup? So basically Michael or Shameless Gaming drew this thing over here for me, which is awesome. And so I thought, well, I kind of, I, I want something, something cute and adorable. And so I'm like, hmm, what would be cool, a Buttercup? And then I remembered this image and I'm like, hey, I should do that. And so I made that thing by hand in like three or four hours on Photoshop and it's the only thing I've ever drawn or done as far as art goes that was actually pretty good. So I'm really proud of Buttercup and I love him slash her to death. This one's a lot in one so I'm gonna read it straight off the page, okay? Connor Smith says two questions. A, what was the best and worst thing to happen to you? B, what is your favorite song but don't tell us? Sing it. Ali the Eliotrope says, can you sing and draw at the same time? Max out of 10 says, do a 30 second self portrait. Gavin Jarman says, balance on your head and twerk to Miley Cyrus. Then draw your favorite Pokemon. I'm gonna do all that and let me go ahead and Sing my favorite song while listening to Miley Cyrus while twerking against the wall as I'm drawing myself as a Pokemon. This should be interesting. I sincerely apologize for what you're about to see. I'm not strong enough to hold myself up very much. See, this up I surrounded by the sun. God, I don't remember the words. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm trying! You shut your mouth! Oh god! Hold on! Draw a little bit! Yeah! I'm just eating by the beat! 
Okay, okay we're done. Seen the drawing is me as a Pokemon. You're gonna see it. Can't tell who I am. It's Mewtwo! Hey! Self portrait wasn't bad, huh? Uh, now I'm in a no, no, I'm in floating in space. Oh, galaxy! Oh. Don't make me twerk again. I can't. I can't. Cord plugged in asks, "What do I use to record, and how much have I spent?" Well, I won't tell you just how much I've spent on all my equipment, but I will name every piece of equipment that I use and I've purchased specifically for YouTube. Let's see. We have Bandicam. We have my webcam. We have my actual camera. The camera stand, my new computer, my old laptop, my TV that I got, my Xbox 360 that I actually got so that I could play with my friends and record with them, because I had a PS3 before, but I got the Xbox 360 so that I could record some games with my friends, because they had a 360. Anyways, I had to get two surge protectors, my green screen, my lighting kit, which I actually didn't pay for, which was a gift, my old headset, my other old headset, my new headset, and then we have my old mic, and then we have my new mic, which is the Blue Yeti. Oh! And my desk, and my old chair, and my new chair. That's pretty much everything, I think. And all the games! It's not cheap at all. It's, it's not cheap at all. But I don't regret it one bit, because it lets me make videos and make, have fun stuff with you. Yeah, fun. Make fun. Make fun. Let's make fun, guys. Make fun! but not of each other. Shelby G asks why I started YouTube and what inspires me, while Glitchy Bug asks who my YouTube inspirations are. This is probably gonna be a pretty long story, but I, I used to work at a designing and printing shop. We would create custom designs for customers and put them together, and we print them on custom things, mostly like t-shirts and decals that you stick on walls and cars and stuff. So basically a customer came in one day and he wanted to get his logo for his YouTube channel printed on his shirt. And so I asked him who he was, because I don't know a lot of YouTube people, um, but it turned out it was Bear Ghost Games, which if you've ever heard of him, I think he's almost to 500,000 subscribers. He's a pretty dang big YouTuber. But when I met him, he was barely under 100,000. It was only about a year ago, I think, so he's grown a lot since then. And I just started talking to him and asking him uh, about YouTube and what he did and what he thinks the best part about YouTube is. And, and we sat there and we talked for probably an hour, hour and a half just about YouTube in general. And he was giving me advice and it, it really inspired me to continue my channel because I had worked on it before but not very heavily and they were terrible, terrible videos. I just wanted to start doing YouTube because it seemed like a lot of fun and he told me that the biggest and most important thing was dedication, which is kind of how I was able to push through all the facts that I wasn't getting views or likes or anything on my YouTube videos for over a year, almost a year. But now everything has changed and I'm so glad that it has and I just hope that we keep pushing forward and moving towards a, a bigger and brighter future because you guys are just amazing and I, I can't believe everything that you guys have done for me and everything you've told me. But uh, anyways, um, that kind of got me to start YouTube and then as far as inspirations, I just kept pushing myself because I, I looked at my videos and even though I posted them, I didn't like what I was posting. I didn't like my own videos and so I tried to change that because I was still kind of shy from high school because I was the shyest person you'd ever meet, ever, period. And uh, everything just started changing. I started changing who I was and who I am because I realized that I didn't know who I was. I hadn't figured out who I was. And so through my videos, I actually changed and grew as a person, which I am so grateful for because I, I really wouldn't be where I am right now or I wouldn't be who I am right now without YouTube. I used to like see Nanners a lot and so I tried to make my videos kind of like his. And then I realized that it, it didn't quite engage more on a personal level. While his videos are amazing and I love the guy to death because he's a great YouTuber, I realized that I wasn't though. And that what people really liked was the just straight let's plays and just sitting down and talking without heavy, heavy, heavy editing the whole time trying to force funny. And so I just started trying to take it lighter on the editing and took out the music and the sound effects and most of the memes and stuff that I did. I became who I am pretty much right now and I'm still adapting and I'm still evolving as far as YouTube goes. Mark and Jack were the two people that kind of inspired me to push forward to where the kind of videos that I make now. But I'm still trying to push myself and become unique as an individual, which is why I'm trying to do some unique stuff hopefully for my YouTube channel because I want to make myself me. I don't want to copy anybody, I want to be myself. That's basically why I started YouTube, why I kept doing YouTube, and where, kind of why my videos are how they are. I pretty much owe all my YouTube and everything who I am to 
Bergos Games for encouraging me to start my own YouTube channel and keep at it no matter how many people didn't watch my videos. Seeing Anders for helping me push to become better at editing and better as a person and Mark and Jack to be able to engage on a personal level and to edit videos properly rather than just being able to edit. I just owe everything to, to those people. Like, I owe them the world and if I could tell them that, I really would because that would be what I'd want to do more than anything in the world. How much they, they changed me and helped me get where I am today. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff down below. Make sure to leave more things for me to do for the next video next Sunday because I'm having fun with this series and I hope you guys are too. So thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you next time. And that's one of the only times that I've actually been able to do an entire outro without messing up on the very first try. Let's go! Come on, that deserves a round of applause! We'll see you next time.